Jordan Henson with Jordan Henson Outdoors. Today we're going to be doing a beginner goose call video. Um, in this video we're going to go over some good beginner goose calls and how to make some sounds on them. Um, I'm joined by my buddy here. I'm Tom Henson from MG Outdoors. Um, so I'll, I'll link his channel in the description. Um, he's going to be using a Tim Ground Super Mag. You can see it right there. The blue call. Um, I'm going to be using a Zinc Power Hen and a Zinc Naughty by Nature call just to show you like how much different and how much more stuff you can do on an, on a higher end acrylic call than you can a polycarb. So um, we're gonna get to film this video, right, guys. So for the beginner calling, you have to hold your call. You gotta put it in between your thumb and your pointer finger, and you gotta wrap your pointer finger around, put it a little bit in front of the insert, and then you gotta put your other hand. I like to match my thumbs up and my pinkies up. And then you just gotta, just like a duck call, you gotta put it on your bottom lip, just like you're drinking out of a bottle. And then for the moan, you just wanna do a, a let's just say two into the call, and you'll get like a. Ah, ah, I do my moan ah, when the geese are circling and they they feel a little confident in your spread, and they uh, you just gotta get some stuff in there. To keep them interested in your your, uh, your spread, make them want to land. I'd use my moan, and then you got your cluck. Your cluck just say wit into the call, <laughs> and clucks are used when they're pretty much cupped up and they're getting ready to land. That's just the last few things you want to do right before the uh, the geese land and you get ready to shoot them. And then if you put the moan and the cluck together, you get the honk. The honk can very much be used anytime, and uh, it's just two wit to put your moan and your fuck together. <coughs> and uh, if you can't break your reed over without back pressure, uh, that's a bad habit to get into. Try to break your reed over. See, I'm not going to have any back pressure. <coughs> it sounds weird, but if you can break your call over without back pressure, that'll that'll keep you on the right track. All right, so. Uh, kind of simple cadence uh, for if birds are coming in. They're far out, but not not like just a tiny line. But this is what I do. I just messed up. All right, so this is my cadence if the birds are coming in. They're pretty. They're decently far out. You're gonna start out with some honks. And uh, now they're getting kind of closer. They're circling. <laughs> and when they're cupped up, they can still flare. So put in a few more clucks, and then they'll pretty much finish. And uh, pretty much my cadence. And uh, now we're going to switch it over to uh, Jordan. Alright guys, so now I'm going to run through what it sounds like when I use the power hen, which is a polycarb call. I'm going to show you guys like how I can go way faster on this naughty by nature. Um, I mean, polycarb, you know, they're really good calls to learn on. Some guys stick with them, but you know, some guys just want to get into, well, some guys want to take it to the next level. You know, possibly get into competition calling eventually, which I might, I'm not sure yet. I mean, I want to get a Tim Grounds like Nathan, that's probably going to be my next call is a Tim Grounds. But I mean, zinc calls are very good calls. The power, the power hand, the power clucker. I'm sorry, that's the power hand's a duck call. You can make it such easy goose sound. So here's just, I mean, a honk and a clock and a moon. So if you guys could tell there, when I started going faster right there, it didn't sound right. Like it didn't sound like it should. It's not 
the worst, but I mean, it could possibly start birds, you know, especially late season when they're smarter. You know, they're not going to want to hear that. You know, they're not going to want to hear you mess up. I mean, if you if you keep doing that a lot, you know, you're not going to kill anything. Um, so here, so here, I'll run through why I mainly switch to an acrylic call. So here, right here is how is why. So you, you'll probably hear that I mess up here and I'm going fast. <laughs> To me, it's just like way harder to switch pitches when you're going super fast on here. Um, it's a deeper call, which is nicer for early season when we're starting big honkers and stuff. And I mean, it, it can be good in situations. Like I used it last year, called in birds over it, but I've also called in birds on my Naughty by Nature. So here I'll give you a quick sound file of why I like the Naughty by Nature so much better. Here we go. <laughs> So I can make sounds like that, like, which like I can't do on my po on my polycarb call. And it's the naughty by nature is a high, much higher pitch call. So I mean, this uh, this call is perfect for open fields. Like if you're out in Kansas or out west, where you have huge open fields, this is this is a very good call, very good call. And I hunt a river, so you know it gives it it echoes really well throughout the river. Um, you know the birds can hear wherever they're at. So I'm here, right here's me going fast in this call, which I should not. If I mess up a user error, if I mess up on here, you know, I, I know that's not user error because I can blew this call, you know what I mean? I can do it on here. So here we go. So if you guys could tell, couldn't tell that I did not mess up when I was going fast. And shorter calls, it's going to be very hard to learn at first. I mean, I can't, like, I can't go as fast on this um, Jake Moneymaker here, which is a longer call. So here, I'll, I'll run this one quick for you. <laughs> That messed up right there. Like when I'm going fast on these longer calls, I just can't get it to switch right. That might just be me, but I mean, from my experience, I would, I would 100% recommend a polycar power clucker to anybody who's wanting to get into goose calling. I might actually, if you guys want, when we get to 150 subscribers, I'll do a giveaway and a power clucker. You guys heard it here. 150 subs, do a giveaway and a power clucker. Say one of you guys. Here, get maybe your first call for free and learn how to goose call on it. Um, but yeah, so that so I think that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. All right, so the video is over now, but you gotta subscribe to Jordan Henson Outdoors, and my channel is gonna be linked in the description. I don't have any videos right now. Some might come out soon. I might do some videos mainly hunting. The goose season's almost here. Dove season's almost here. So I'll do all that. Make sure you hit the bell on my channel and Jordan's and comment below suggestions for videos things you still want to know things you want to learn and that's it also comment if you would like us to collab again sometime and maybe we'll do videos on his channel too as well as more I mean we're obviously gonna do more videos on mine hopefully we should do some hunts together soon too so yeah thank you guys for watching this video um see you guys in the next one